In this video, I want to show you the easiest way to make over $1,700 a week with affiliate marketing using Facebook ads. So stay tuned. So if you want to make over $1,700 a week, using Facebook ads with affiliate marketing, it all starts with a great product. So to find our product, we're gonna go on clickbank.com. Now Clickbank is one of the many affiliate networks where you can find tons and tons of products that people put on there so they can promote them. And then affiliates can take those products and really expand the reach and get them sales and then you take a commission as an affiliate. So I've sold a little bit on here and I want to show you how to pick the right product, especially when you're starting out. And uh, it, it's going to depend on your niche. And when you're using Facebook ads specifically, it's really, really hard to get something that's compliant. So I would highly recommend doing something that is not health related, weight loss related, uh, where you make any claims. I wouldn't do anything to make money online when you're starting out. It's really tempting because the payouts are good and the companies are good and the education is good. But the problem is you will get your account banned so fast you won't know what to do with yourself and I've had that happen to me and so you know I don't want you to have that same experience it takes a lot of work to get it back and it's not super straightforward so let's just avoid that problem so what we want to do is we want to pick something that's not going to go against the compliance and if you want to see what the compliance rules are you can look up Facebook ads compliance uh, documentation or something to that effect and yeah it's their advertising policies and then you can read up on this and i highly recommend doing a detailed read on it it's not the most exciting it's actually pretty boring uh but it's really critical to do this so what you want to do is you want to read through and see what you're allowed to promote so for example it says prohibited content so you can't promote you know anything that uh, exploits people or certain ages or is unsafe and you can't discriminate and and they go as far as saying like if you call out people that are overweight and you say do you want to lose weight or do you, are you feeling fat or, or something like that like that's discrimination even though it's a great way to motivate people because it taps into that emotional sector you can't do that on facebook which kind of sucks but it also makes sense in certain ways uh, but if you want to play by the rules and use the best targeting you know on the planet uh, other than google search you're gonna want to follow the rules so you can't do tobacco related products unsafe supplements you can't do any explicit adult content you can't point out their personal attributes like disability religion mental health financial status so this is where it gets into that that really uh, gray area where you can have a lot of failures if you're not careful misinformation controversial uh, one that I got banned on was doing like a you know and make money online I think they you know some people call it schemes uh, misleading practices or deceptive practices they're not deceptive offers if you actually put in the work because I've done it and I've made money doing it um, and it's really important to understand that so if you're trying to promote an internet marketing product you know pick the right one where it, it doesn't sound like a scam and see what other people are doing don't just try to guess because I, I did that that's not a good idea either look at what your competitors are doing using the facebook ad library which is like a library of all the ads that are currently running on facebook and you can look up different advertisers you can also like pages related to what you're doing and then they will send you ads if they're running them and then you can check out their ads which is a really cool ninja hack so i would highly recommend that uh yeah sale of body parts vaccine discouragement all these different things alcohol dating gambling um yeah you can only do dating if it's if it's uh, approved prior to that, because I've seen some ads on that. So, like, there's a lot of restrictions, and uh, you really got to follow these rules. And it's really easy just to want to get out there and put something out there. But I would read up on this, and I would look at other trainings and what other people say about Facebook ad compliance. If you want me to make a detailed training on how to go about following these rules and not getting banned, uh, say yes in the comments below. I'd love to do that. But once you've read all this and kind of understand what you can and cannot promote let's go back to clickbank and basically you can look at the categories now and kind of get an idea even at a quick glance of ones that are going to not work out so well so like e-business and e-marketing is probably out for the most part uh, anything with finance health and fitness is a tough one to get started in it's a great niche but it's you could really have some trouble there sports would be easy games would be easy betting systems is a no-no because -no. anything gambling you're pretty much screwed uh, with Facebook marketing um, all, all these different things are uh, 
you know, they have their pros and cons of the niche, but uh, if you pick the right one, for example, like, depending on what it is for education or your home and garden, these things are not really, you're not making big claims, right? You're not saying, like, you're going to lose all this weight, you're going to make a million dollars. These aren't crazy, disruptive, misleading claims. It might just be like, use the best product on the market to grow your garden. But it's not saying, you know, that you're necessarily uh, saying that they are some certain type of person. Like you're not discriminating against them in any way. You're just kind of providing a tool. Uh, so think of like tools or think of things that are useful that don't really have a, a um, like huge outcome. Uh, like you want them to have an outcome. Otherwise nobody will buy it. But like just avoid like the make money online and health and fitness. Because those are the ones that really get hit. And uh, I highly recommend you don't start there. So let's just choose uh, something like home and garden, for example, and maybe like uh, crafts and hobbies. And, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to nail down this niche. You know, I I've actually have promoted this Ted's Woodworking. That's why I chose this niche, because I think it's a really good one. It's a product that it's it's really neutral. It's it's literally just a woodworking plan. Like, you're not making claims about a person. It's really hard to, like, offend people with that. Um, including Facebook and so I, I would definitely go after this one um, I've made sales off of this and I didn't promote it for a long time I think I had a few leads like four leads and I ran I don't know like ads for like a week and you know I got an upsell and stuff so like you definitely want to try products like these when you're on a site like Clickbank generally you want to figure out what are the most converting product or the best converting products uh, the way you do that on Clickbank is you select the gravity to start. So this is gonna show you how popular it is. And so the gravity's down here. It's just a relative score between all the other items, like a really, really high one's like 400, a really low one, maybe like 30 or 20. Because it's low doesn't mean it doesn't work. All these offers on here are people that are serious about their businesses that are trying to get their products sold. So it doesn't mean it's useless, but just know that if you have a higher gravity, more affiliates are probably promoting it. And if you hit the middle range, like, you know, between like uh, maybe like 100 and 200, you're not going too hard at the gravity. You know, the ones that are like 400, 500, and maybe too competitive. So you got to think about competition as well. The other thing you want to think about is what is the cost per sale or, or like how much you're making per sale uh, for two reasons. One, you want to make some money with it um, and you want some upsells. So this one has upsells too. Um, and the other thing is you don't want something that's a thousand dollars for a price, right? So like, you know, there's products that, you know, they, they're going to cost people thousands of dollars. And as you can see, a lot of these are really not that big. This one's higher. And when you're starting out, if you're ready to spend, you know, 50 bucks a day on ads and you know what you're doing, go for it. Maybe you can convert something like this and in, in under a month you can start getting it, you know, really, really optimized. But otherwise, you're probably gonna have a tough time. So I would start with something that's like, you know, 30 to 50 bucks, 60 bucks, this is fine. And that's just like an average. And then what I would do is I would go to the actual page of the offer. And I would look at the offers, Ted's Woodworking, look at what they're trying to sell you, watch this video, it's just a bunch of wood plans. Just sell it and show how you can have, you know, ease of mind when you're building all these projects. There's unlimited projects for a lifetime. It, it's an easy one-stop shop for proven um, wood plans, woodworking plans. So you'd never have to buy another book and do this and that again. And look at how they talk about the product. And one place you can go to get more context of that is the actual affiliate page. So they're going to give you stuff to work with. So they're going to show you uh, some of their other products. They're going to show you a report on how to actually convert uh, people and then it's going to talk about the offer how much you can earn earnings per click which is variable but it's a good metric 75 percent commission which is really good it means you're making 75 percent of every sale and it's going to talk about you know what its the conversion rate is how it works so the 67 dollars and then there's another main offer and it goes to upsells down sells so there's a bunch of different sells where you can get multiple buys and that's where you're making the money so you can get up to 125 dollars in commissions and it has really good conversion so one in 11 hops a hop is a visit so one in 11 people convert and uh, that's for cold targeted traffic um, you know depending on what kind of traffic source you choose that might work for you it might not 
but uh, that that's a good sign, and I've actually seen that. It didn't take me long to get conversion with it, so don't think that it's it's going to be super hard. Uh, the upsells are good, and uh, they'll talk about how to make your affiliate link, which you'll get through ClickBank anyway. And uh, then you can put in your email, and they'll give you a bunch of resources. And you can also look up lead magnets if you want to get people come into your funnel quicker. So lead magnet is literally what it sounds like. It's a magnet that draws people in. So like anytime you saw an ad and you're like, oh, I need to get that right now. And it's not a tangible product. It might be a PDF, a training, a guide or something. And then they sell you a product that happens all the time. And as an affiliate, that's a big deal because that is going to be how you get people to click at a lower cost, build your list, and then start converting with them on the back end, your email list, your SMS list, which is texting, whatever you're doing to build your own ownable asset, something that is independent of Facebook. Even though Facebook's huge for getting those people off the platform, they're targeted onto your list. So once you figure out that, let's say you're going to do Ted's Woodworking, and you've looked at it, and you've understood what the offer is, or the product is, and then you want to promote it, what you would do is you'd click promote. You'll put in your account nickname, it'll tell you what your commission is, and then it gives you your hop link. So your hop link is the thing that's gonna take that customer or potential customer from your landing page or your thank you page over to the affiliate offer. You don't want to take them straight from Facebook to the affiliate page because no ad network that is serious, that has really good data is gonna let you do that maybe with the exception of Microsoft ads, but I'm sure that will change once somebody breaks the rules. And um, the reason is because if you're taking people straight to a sales page, it can come off as deceptive depending on like what you're targeting. Some people could take a shortcut and they'll just target people and then they'll send them this thing and force them to buy right away. And the ad networks just don't allow it. It's just not compliant with the rules for any other reason. So what you want to do is you want to drive them to a page for a lead magnet or some sort of survey or squeeze page some form of landing page there's tons of them i use the lead magnet funnels i think they're easy you just make something cool or find something for free to give away that's really related to your product so for ted's woodworking i gave away the ted's woodworking 50 free plans i watched it in another youtube training which is pretty cool and it worked so it, it got people on my list i was able to email them and i was able to convert sales which is really cool so, um, you know, and then you could sell those people other products, you know, two, three, four, five, ten years down the line, um, you know, and especially within the first, you know, five to six months. And you'll be getting fresh leads every day if you set up your traffic. Right? So, once you pick your offer and you get your hop link, this is the link you'll use with your landing pages. And you don't need to store this anywhere right now. I mean, you can generate it on demand, it's going to encrypt it in this little hashed. You know, jumbled up set of characters and then you can put it into your landing page later now this is going to be a long series of videos i'm going to go through you know picking the offer how to do the targeting how to come up with your customer persona how to build the landing page get the lead magnet or build the lead magnet store it online you know get, get the email set up to where if once they come through if they don't buy right away which most people won't you know how to convert those people there's tons of steps but don't don't get intimidated because it's very much doable and once you get it down the first time which you know, it could take you a few weeks to get all the pieces correct. Then you can start building it in an hour, two hours the next time. And I've done that. And it's, it's actually really cool. And you don't even have to be that technical to do it, uh, especially today with all the tools that are available. So I hope that you are able to go to ClickBank and find an offer that you like and that you can promote. I highly recommend starting with something like Pets Woodworking. And I hope you get started with picking a product that works for you and learning how you can leverage it. I suggest you sign up to ClickBank. I'll put a link down below that you can click and quickly go there. And if you want to know the fastest way to become a millionaire, the shortcut to become a millionaire, then click the link down in my description or in the first comment and I'll send you a free ebook that you're going to love. It's going to give you the shortcut on how to make money with passive income and be able to leave your job and to live the life that you've always wanted working from home, spending time with your family, and crushing it online with things like affiliate marketing, digital consulting, and e-commerce. Thank you so much. If you like this video, hit that like button so more people can see it. Jump on that subscribe button and slap that notification bell so you don't miss a single video from me on how to make more money online and live a happier life. There's a video right after this one, so stay tuned for that. Peace out for now.